All right, it's been a while since my last video. Um, it's hard to play two accounts at the same time while there's so much IRL stuff going on in my life. So I did have to take a bit of a break, but we're crossing up on day 80 of this account and I have not bothered to fully clear MOC yet. So today, that's the plan. The plan is to try and clear the rest of MOC. Off stream, I've done one through 10 just because I don't think that's as interesting as content anymore because it it's not as hard. I think floor 11 and floor 12, those are the, the interesting ones. As for what has transpired since my Firefly pulling session, well, I've leveled most of my characters up to 80. So I'll go through the Firefly team first. Firefly is fully leveled with her Lycone leveled, and I also maxed out her traces. She's the only one that I have maxed out. I also have a decent uh, set on her. So this one has speed and attack, speed and break effect, break effect, break effect, and then speed. So she's at enough speed to go three times in one turn, and she has 227 break effect, which I think is pretty good. So she's definitely the star of my account. Now, Ron May is at 120 speed for Von Wack. She has very low break effect, but that's because I got complete dog water artifacts. Nothing I can do about it. I'm also out of artifact, artifact XP, so I can't really level any of them any further. Harmony Trailblazer, he is also very poorly built, but at this point, I feel like investing further into this team won't really increase much for my account because I can already zero or one cycle most stages. So I think more of my investment should be into my second team that's struggling even harder. So same with Gallagher. Gallagher is just leveled up enough to make sure my team doesn't die. Um, yeah. Also, he's running quid pro quo because that benefits Firefly a lot with her energy regeneration. As for my second team, because my Firefly team, it's, it's fine. It's like 90% of the way there and then any excess resources, I'm not getting as, a, as much value out of it. So my second team is my Clara team. Her traces are as high as I'm willing to get them right now with my time allocation and her relics are okay. They're not brilliant, but they're, they're usable. Robin, same thing. Um, obviously th these should be 10, 10, 10, but like this requires so many days of farming to get that to 10, 10, 10. So I just gave her a usable set of relics and then got her to as high as I could with the resources I had. Also, I recently pulled Sparkle, so that's nice. But Sparkle, you can tell that she has not the best speed and not the best crit damage because I'm kind of limited on resources. She's very new, so her traces are very low as well. And I just gave her pieces with the most speed on my account. So this is 7, 9, 2, 2, and 4. Yeah, they could be better, but this is a new account, so I haven't had time to farm as many relics. And then the last character on this team is Lynx. Lynx is in your standard... Uh, support healing build. She's also just leveled enough so that my team doesn't die. Anything else doesn't really matter. You can see that I have three other characters here that are leveled up outside of my main team. I have Herda and Serval leveled up for Pure Fiction just because I don't want to miss those Stellar Jades, but I haven't fully cleared Pure Fiction either. I plan to do that after I fully clear MOC 12. And Part of the reason is because I'm waiting to level up Himiko some more. Her traces are very low and I kind of want to get them up a little bit before I completely tackle Pure Fiction. So stay tuned for that. And then Shui Yi is an interesting one. I had to level up Shui Yi because some of the stages in MOC were a big struggle for me because my two teams, like Firefly was never the problem, but Clara didn't work in some of the stages. And so I had to level up Shui Yi to get by. So Shui Yi is also leveled up. And she's leveled up just far enough that she cleared those stages for me. I will level her up further, but right now she's not the main priority. And she won't really be used for my 11 and 12 clears, so yeah. That's the state of my account at the moment. Now let's go into floor 11. Okay, so floor 11 is Japard on the first half and um, Swarag on the second half. So. It works for my two teams because I can just run Clara on the top half and then 
I could run Firefly on the bottom half. So this should not really be a struggle. And because of that, I'll probably skip over a bit of this fight. So I'm using both March 7th and Lynx because to be honest, I don't think cycle count matters. I, I probably should have used Sparkle if I wanted to be a bit faster, but I just wanted to make sure no one dies. And I just want to get it done in one go. But my thoughts on Clara after playing here for two and a half months, I am not a big fan of Clara's playstyle. Counter requires you to rely on enemy actions and that's very annoying because it's out of your control. Wh who the enemy hits is out of your control. How fast the enemy acts is also kind of out of your control. You can't really speed tune the enemies and you can't action advance the enemies so you're at... And also like some enemies like the violin boys are so annoying because their attacks don't count as attacks. So those stages I had to bring Shui because Clara did absolutely nothing against them. Okay, so the second half is also not an issue because Firefly is just so busted. From earlier you can you should probably know that my supports are nowhere near fully leveled and yet Firefly can still one cycle this stage. And that's really really OP. Because on my main account for me to one cycle this stage requires a fully built blade, a fully built E1 Ranmei, a fully built Branya, and a fully built Sparkle. Whereas Firefly can just one cycle this with supports that are like level 70 with like 555 talents. It's really, really insane. But yeah, I, I think Firefly... R Robin might have been underwhelming, but Firefly definitely lived up to the hype. I still wouldn't say she's a must-pull for anyone, just because there have been times where she didn't live up to what I expected out of her. Some bosses, especially in Simulated Universe, they turn off their toughness bar from some mechanic and when that happens Firefly becomes completely useless as well because she relies a lot on being able to weakness break your enemy and if your enemy just prevents you from weakness breaking them then Firefly can't do anything. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of break teams because a lot of it is also out of your control. My favorite team is Blade just because he's like your typical hyper carry. He will work in whatever situation you throw him in and he'll kind of play the same regardless of who you're fighting. And uh, that's what I like. I like consistency. But Firefly has been very good for my account. I just... Those fights where she's against toughness immune enemies, they, they make me so frustrated. Okay, but floor 11 was no issue here. So now we go on to the big boss, the final boss, floor 12. Okay, so for floor 12, I initially planned to put Firefly on the top half and then have Clara for the second half just because of how the weakness typing worked out. And I mean, it started off incredibly well. So Firefly on the top half was chef's kiss because everything worked out perfectly so I'll go through the run like I said Firefly should be able to go three times on the first cycle so I pop her ult well not not counting her first turn so her first turn is one action then she uses her ult to get a second action and then she'll have two more actions in her enhanced state before the end of the cycle so now she will be coming up on her third action. Well, after Gallagher gets his turns through. If I was smarter, I would probably have saved Gallagher's 
alt and turn until after harmony main character goes just because quid pro quo would then forcibly stack firefly instead of having to do a 50 50 between firefly and harmony main character but i mean it, it doesn't matter too much well it, it matters but i'm not trying to zero cycle here so Okay, that was also Firefly's first turn. Kafka tried to dominate Gallagher, but Gallagher is him, and Gallagher is immune. This is Firefly's second turn. This team is so free to play friendly, it's insane. Oh, well, I guess Firefly ran out of... Hmm. Should I build more speed on Firefly? <laughs> Even Harmony main character doing 100k damage when he's super crappily built makes me question why I main Blade. Okay, so my Firefly is not fast enough yet to go three times on the second cycle. I guess maybe I should try building more speed on her. Okay, but on the second half, I won't force you guys to watch the whole thing. It ended up becoming a huge slog fest where, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> phase two adventuring became an endless cycle of me doing a sliver of his health before he does his ball mechanic again just for me to survive the ball mechanic do a sliver more damage and then he'll summon the balls again and then it always worked out so that the this the moc buff would trigger when the ball stage happens so it never actually the it never actually hits adventuring himself and so this fight ended up lasting like 20 cycles it was insane and so yeah, some thinking and reworking had to be made because this combination of teams was not it. Firefly worked her butt off to get a 1 cycle clear only for my Clara team to waste it all with like a 20 cycle of entering. So yeah, I managed to clear it and got 2 stars out of it, but I decided what if I swapped the teams around? So that, so one thing was, what if I gave all the best resources to my Clara team? So first I swapped her, I swapped Clara to the easier side and I gave Lynx quid pro quo so that Robin would be able to funnel, Robin would be able to get more energy and get her ult more consistently. Just because Firefly team probably doesn't need everything to get her job done. She is already strong enough. The weakness is my <laughs> my Clara team. And so here we also replaced March 7th for Sparkles because I realized that it doesn't matter if... Well, okay, this is how I'll put it. Because we already cleared two cycles with no character dying, it doesn't matter if a character dies on this run. I just need more damage. And so I dropped March 7th for Sparkle because even if someone dies here, as long as I clear in time, that's all that matters. So that was like the reasoning for replacing March 7th with Sparkle. And this fight ended up going a lot better. I think I ended up clearing this side in five cycles. So. And also, I don't think anyone died here. 
I still don't enjoy Clara's playstyle, and I, it might be because I'm not playing her optimally. I probably am not playing her optimally, because her damage numbers don't seem to be very high. But you also have to keep in mind, my characters are nowhere near maxed out, especially my supports. So I feel like if they were maxed out more, and if Clara had like a way better ratio, because I think Clara's right now at like 5100, if she was at like... 7150 and all my supports were 10 10 10 she would probably deal a lot more damage than you're seeing here but we're almost we're almost done this will take out kafka and so we have five cycles to work with for Firefly, which should be more than enough. And I think I should have thought of doing this beforehand, just because Firefly can break a Venturine, and then Ranmei and Harmony Trailblazer will delay him for longer, so that I don't have to go through this endless cycle of the ball mechanic. I guess I got sucked into the weakness typing at first and I'm like, oh, it's perfect because adventuring is weak to physical. I should put Clara there, but yeah, it was not fun for me to slog through the endless phase two adventuring. That was an experience because I've never had to do that on my main account. My main account had Akron, which kind of just destroyed adventuring. Oh yeah, I remember this. I ran out of skill points for Firefly, so I couldn't actually guarantee her to survive this stage. Oh yeah, I remember this. I, I was like hitting myself afterwards because I'm like, why did I do that? But fortunately, Gallagher is him and refuses to be stunned. And he kind of saved my run here. Gallagher is so good. And then I break Adventuring and this should be GG. He'll stay broken because of Harmony main character and Ron May. And then Firefly gets to go again and that should kill. Boom, 200k. And so there we go. MOC 12 fully cleared on day 80 of my new account. I could obviously probably get this done a lot sooner if I played religiously, grinded things out earlier, like all the stories, all the events. But this goes to show that you can fully clear MOC 12 within three months as a free to play player, as long as you're careful with who you decide to invest in. Oh, also, I, I decided to do a cheeky summon for Face Shao because I'm close to pity and I'm on my 50 50, so I was like, why not? I'm lacking a wind character. She's very strong. I have Robin. What could go wrong, right? Yeah. I got you parted. Which is sad because I also pulled his light cone earlier. So now I have e E0 S1 Jepard, but I'm probably never ever going to build him. But I'm still happy because I managed to full clear MLC 12 and now I can focus on Pure Fiction. So I also want to get Pure Fiction done before day 90, which is kind of like the three month threshold. One at a so I'll see you guys when I attempt that.